you guys doing? Welcome to this edition of Motorcycle Madhouse. It's episode 833, and if it ain't, I forgot. It's not my fault. I get stupid sometimes, man. That's what happens. Look at this motorcycle, baby. It belongs to Doug Tulak. And I probably uh, mispronounced his name, but that's what I'm, you know, known for, man. Hooked on Phonics Hollywood when it comes to English. It is a 2010 Road King, baby. And it has a Road Glide conversion on it, an FLHP. It's a 103 cubic inches, which I already know flies, because I have one on the Lowrider. It's a six-speed uh, the head work was done by Eddie Trotta, man, 115 horse, uh, 116 foot-pounds. Uh, it's got a lower front rear stretch bags, D&D &D Fat Cat 2-into-1 exhaust, 21-inch Renegade wheel, and it runs hard, baby. That's what Doug has to say. I love the damn paint job on this sucker. I really do. The, the, the old school flames, man. I always love the old school flames. Brings me back to the day. Uh, but beauty, man. Beauty. Isn't that sucker a beauty? Anyway, if you want to have yours on here, just hit it to info at insanethrottlebikernews.com. And I'll get it in line. If you want to donate to the show, you can by Cash App at Dollar Sign Motorcycle Madhouse. Today, no news, no news, which is a good day, right? It's a good day when I have nothing to do. So I figured we get real here, man. Real about some of the policy changes that Insane Throttle is going to be implemented over the next week or two. And that has to do with trying to make the program a lot better, more structured, and all around better, if you ask me. All around better. Because one of the things when I started Biker News, a vision that I had, was that it would become a genuine in itself. And what I mean about that is something that bikers can go to to get reliable information. Sure, I bring up the articles, stuff like that, give my opinions on it, but I'm also hoping that, in, you know, you go out and do your own research, and I get sometimes people can't do that, so they rely on us, and that's why some uh, policies have been instituted, especially for motorcycle clubs. With us covering MCs, things can get really tricky. And we had to go about trying to level off everything where it's more reliable, that we're not getting into club beefs because one wants to feed us one thing, and that right there enables them to, you know. Whatever, you know what I mean. So here's some of the policies. And we're doing this is, again, I want to make sure we go by some guidelines here for motorcycle club submissions. It makes it a better experience, not for, you know, not only for our listeners, but also for the clubs themselves. That way they know that they're at least getting a fair shake with Insane Throttle Biker News. And I know, and later on I'll explain some other stuff that's going to be, uh, be directed at the audience. But here I want to make sure that, you know, because the clubs are in the, the news a lot. And they're also in the news for some bad stuff. So I want to give them an opportunity to be able to get their side of the story out uh now all and this is the first thing on our new policy guidelines which by the way we posted over on instagram as well as posting it over on the youtube channel all requests for insane throttle to cover motorcycle club submissions 
must be made, must be made by an officer or representative of the club. Again, if your club wants Insane Throttle to cover something for them, or if you see an article that we covered on your club and you want to give your side of the story, you have to have an officer contact us. If you contact us and say, yeah, I'm a member of this club and I want to get our side of the story out, I'm going to say, well, get an officer or a public relations rep to go ahead and contact us because we want somebody that's authorized to do so. So, real easy right there. Not hard. Don't, you, know, you don't have to be a hooked on phonics dropout to understand, hey, we need somebody that's authorized to talk to us. If you are going to contact us, this is one thing dependent on what story you want us to cover. You must have all documentation the club is putting forth as far as the type of story, if you will. If you have a guy that was working for this or that, well... You got to have case numbers, you got to have police reports, court transcripts, that kind of legitimate type of documentation that shows, hey, there might be something fishy going on here. Or this is in court, this is what's being said, let your audience go ahead and make their choice. But you still need to have that documentation in order for us to run with any type of story. And it, it doesn't matter to us one way or another if you want to put your side of the story out concerning a article or an incident within your club. But you do have to have documentation for us to check it out and research it. Uh, we're also requiring now an off-the-record, meaning it will not be published. It's an off-the-record conversation to understand better what you want us to put out to our audience. Meaning, what's the problem? Or, did you do good by doing a fundraiser? You can come on the show and talk about that. But we need to hear it from you. You know, these emails don't give us nothing to research, especially when it has to do with something that the cops are involved with. We need to know, okay, this is your side of the story. We've researched it. We confirmed it. Let's put it out there. It's not hard to do an off-the-record type of thing. When you have clubs saying, we don't talk to the media, well, that's, you know, really on you guys. If you want your story out at one point or another, and we've done this for other, we've done this for many clubs. You put out a statement, we read it for you. We get your side of the story out. That doesn't mean you have to come on the show. Give us a statement that your club wants us to put out there, and we're going to do that for you. But if it's something more serious, then you're going to have to sit there and, you know, that's just how we're doing it. We're also not, also not going to be dicking around with this out bad stuff. You know, some of our episodes have been taken, you know, over by the conversation of this person being out bad, that person being out bad. And actually, it has no value when it comes to news. There's no value in it. Actually, it's your club business, and you shouldn't want it to be on the news. And that's one thing that really does hurt the reputation of clubs is when that kind of drama gets going. And using a platform like ours enhances more people to see that and it really makes clubs look bad so we're cutting we're not going to take them submissions anymore 
you know, even though that we really love working with the clubs, there has to be a a time and place where somebody draws the line and says, yeah, no, this is stupid. This ain't news. This is personal club business. You know, if you want to put him out that he's this or that, have the documents for us to go over. That's the only time we'll put something out that a guy's out bad. If he's out bad for working for this cop or he's working here or did this or did that, have the documents, man. Uh, again, case numbers, police reports, court transcripts, the whole nine yards, so we'd research it for ourselves. We're just not going to take your word. It used to be where you could take a club's word on face value. Unfortunately, that's not how it is anymore, and we're not going to do it. We're going to research what we have to do and make sure that our subscribers are getting quality instead of bullshit and all that good stuff. Uh, if you are shown on our program uh, or there's a story covered on HarleyLiberty.com, uh, you have a right to have your side of the story told. That's one thing that I'm adding a bit about is if you're shown in our news segments, Get your side of the story out. Hell, Dragon and me both do biker news between our audiences. We probably got more than the, the actual people putting the story out. So you're able to get it out there to the general public. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, there's one final thing. And that is, we're not going to be taking sides in club disagreements and all that bullshit. It actually gets to the point where, hell, I've got biased. And when I got biased or get biased, I ain't doing a service for those that watch me. So that's no longer going to be the case. I'm going to walk that line as I should have been and should be. To make better programming for all you. You have to remember that what you're actually watching right now on YouTube is only 15 minutes of over an hour long show that is done Monday through Friday. Right after the YouTube portion, we go into the live second half of the show. That's where China Dow comes. And we talk about other stuff than biker stuff, man. It, it's a comedy type of deal, a shock jock type of deal. We talk about serious stuff the whole nine yards. And because a lot of people have been finding it hard to, you know, because you right now you to listen to it on InsaneThrottleTV.com, Discord. Uh, but we're going to, I'm going to try to start another channel up. Uh, call it Motorcycle Madhouse Morning Mayhem where you can also have the opportunity to listen to the show live for the second half and interact with us there. Uh, so we're going to be, that's going to be coming. There's a lot of stuff that I've been working on to make sure that you have a better entertainment experience. And one of the things you got to remember is entertainment. This is here to give you information and entertain you and, uh, you know, sit there, kick back, listen at work, and try to make the day go faster, if you know what I mean. But I just wanted to get some of these guidelines out, be real with you about some stuff, because that's just, it's growing so big that the good old days are gone. You know, we have to have some structure here. We got to do things uh, in order to be fair to everybody. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section, all that good stuff. Uh, Friday, there will not be a show. I'm going to be on vacay riding my ass off up north. Uh, I'll actually have some videos and stuff of that done. Uh, that's going to be put on my other channel, uh, Biker Culture with Hollywood, uh, next Wednesday. But uh, yeah, that's what I got to say today. I'll talk to you guys later. Rock on.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. If you want to donate to the show, you can do so by Cash App, dollar sign, motorcycle madhouse. Rock on.